For those of us who have had the job and the honor of serving our country in the military, finding a meaningful job on the outside can be tough. That's why our mission at Operation Career is to open doors for good jobs for our veterans. Everybody needs to watch this, it's important. One of the world's premier automobile brands, Jaguar Land Rover, is looking to hire and train vets as technicians. Better yet, the program that they have developed is specifically designed for us veterans. Most of my family is in the military. My sister was Army, cousins, the Navy, uh, uncle, Marine Corps. I would say, yeah, it's a tradition. I was always into the military, and I saw the Twin Towers got hit. I was going to do the Marines first, and my family like, don't do the Marines, do the Navy. Jaguar Land Rover's Veteran Careers Program is a training program for vets, often taught by vets. I joined the Air Force in 1990, retired in 2011. I was uh, spent most of my time working flight line operations and just maintaining aircraft for 20 plus years. When I joined the Army in 1991, I was a light wheel vehicle mechanic at 63 Bravo. After I got out of the Army, I, I started with Land Rover in Nashville, Tennessee. The Veteran Career Program affords veterans the opportunity to use what they've learned in the military and use it in the civilian world. A Jaguar or a Land Rover vehicle, it's something people aspire to, to have in their driveway. The opportunity presented to a veteran to come in at this retailer organization, we're looking for um, people that want to achieve, want to strive, want to be the best of what they do. I think a lot of the veterans understand the, the importance of, of the effort and the attitude and everything that goes along with that. Success in the military is based on teamwork and unit cohesion. The same is true in a new high-tech career. In a dealership, this one big team, you have the parts department, the service department, the, the uh, mechanics, everybody has to work together to make that whole dealership you know, function properly. Once I came back from deployment, I wanted to pursue automotive. I did always work on cars. It was basically my hobby. Why not pursue it as a career? It's a great company that can open a new career for you. It will be easy to transition if you have passion. When veterans come to the training program, they can expect to learn uh, all of our, what we call our, our level two uh, skills. Veteran Careers Program participants get 15 days of training, and upon completion of the program, they return to their franchise as a level two technician. They then have the opportunity to return periodically to become level three, and finally level four technicians. Our level four technicians would be considered a Jaguar Land Rover master technician. We have Omar and Manny here today from Jaguar Land Rover Paramus, uh, two of the technicians recently hired under the Veterans Program. Uh, Jaguar Land Rover Paramus was recognized with the Patriots Award, which is for exceptional leadership in hiring today's veterans. The technology on these cars, they make other cars look like nothing. We have been historically an internal combustion engine manufacturer, and we are moving towards electrification. It was all about our plug-in hybrids and our electric vehicles, which are coming down the road. They were going to be trained on high-voltage systems and how to work with those systems and, and certainly some of the plug-in hybrids we have. The great thing about this is they come in today, they're starting on the ground floor, and what they're going to learn is, is amazing stuff. Charles Willis is the training program supervisor and is passionate about the projects for veterans and the careers program. The dreams and aspirations I have for this program are to create the next generation of technicians for Jaguar Land Rover retailers. And my hope is to get uh, veterans on the podium for our guild competition and our global uh, tech of the year awards because we do some uh, advanced training for them and they get you know, a lot of recognition for that. And uh, it would be a proud moment to see our guys, that some of the people that we brought in from the ground level, take it all the way to the top level, and then who knows where they'll go from there. To honor our veterans for their service, the annual Jaguar Land Rover North America Retailer Conference 
was hosted on the deck of the USS Midway in San Diego, California. Invited guests included retailer owners, employees, and two Veteran Careers Program graduates. Basically, want to develop you. So that's what I was looking for in a company. Someone that would want to help me grow. I'm definitely pleased with the decision. I made them make beautiful cars. I mean, who doesn't want to work on a high-end car? <laughs> Jaguar Land Rover is honored to welcome veterans to the ranks of their iconic brand. So go get them, guys, and good luck. Time in the military is like time on the road. Always away from home and your family, long journeys, big adventures. Well, the trucking world's no different. Iron Cromer retired from the Navy after a 20-year career, and he's found a second career that he loves, driving for Creek Carrier. The Creek Carriers, I have driven all 48 states. What I brought from the military is the honor, courage, and commitment. That's what I do with Creek Carriers. Jim Kruger is one of Creek Carrier's celebrated Patriot Fleet drivers, a man with a lifelong truck driving dream, 27 years in an Army and Reserve career, followed by the last nine years with Creek Carrier. Now Jim's topping it all off as a member of their Patriot Fleet. I was a couple of years out of high school and not really going anywhere, and I really wanted to get into a truck driving career. And I thought the Army was a great place to start, so I signed up and became a motor transport operator for the Army. Creek Carrier started in Crete, Nebraska in 1966, with six trailers moving a lot of dog food. Today, Creek Carrier Corporation transports virtually any product as they operate more than 5,000 tractors and 13,000 trailers, and they employ over 1,400 former military personnel with a goal to hire more. We employ over 1,400 um, former military people. And frankly, to be the best trucking company, it stops and starts with having the best drivers. You can't be a great trucking company if you don't have great drivers. Specifically within the driver ranks, we have what we call our Patriot Fleet. We personalize this truck. It's a beautiful piece of equipment with their dog tags on the side, and it's their truck. My fleet manager actually recommended that I get one, and she said my name was the first name that came up because of my hard work and dedication to the company. They wanted to recognize me as a driver and recognize me for my service. Really makes me feel like a rock star. For Crete to recognize me for my hard work and dedication, it just means the world to me. I'm very proud to be driving this truck. I also want to thank Jim for his 27 years of service in the United States Army. Fans, let's hear it for Jim. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks for your service. Thanks for doing the Patriot Fleet. We're pretty care. Glad to be out here tonight. Thank you, Joe. Nope. Thanks, man. We currently have 24 drivers in our in our military Patriot Fleet, and uh, we have the plans to bring on another five. We commission those on Veterans Day. The Patriot Fleet inspires not only the drivers, but all those around them. It, the veterans' response and just the general response to the Patriot Fleet trucks has been great. You know, they look great going down the road. Uh, the veterans that drive them are very proud of the fact they're assigned one, and, and it's just, I feel like, a great homage to our veterans. Our support of the military really is an extension of, of our culture. We get the best of the best. I view this as, as a true partnership. Support from the company, amazing. They take care of us for anything. If you need to get home, um, if you need to talk to someone about anything, they're there. And Crete's military driver deployment program works to help veterans take full advantage of their GI Bill and associated benefits. They have the miles that you need, great mileage pay. I mean, I, <laughs> no complaints about the pay packages here. They're gonna have to uh, pull me out this truck, holding it onto the steering wheel, pulling me by my feet. I don't plan on going anywhere. I'm just being honest with you. I plan on retiring here. For more information, visit creekcarrier.com 
or our website at militarymakeover.tv. Creek Carrier is the last company I will ever work for. Once I leave Creek Carrier, that means I'm retired. I'll tell another vet, if you want to come work for a place that respects the drivers, this is the place to be. You know, first I would just say thank you. You know, thank you for that service to our country. Thank you for that sacrifice you made. And uh, it means a lot. And then, and then say one way we can express that thanks is by providing you the opportunity you deserve. Uh, not only for you, but you and your family. The meat eaters, the operators in Operation Career are the companies that make exceptional efforts to hire veterans. Many of those companies take it even a step further and hire the military spouses. Fantastic example of that is teleperformance. My interest in training started when I was in the Navy and the Admiral found an interest in me and invited me to be the training petty officer for the command. Alan Larson is Director of Talent Acquisition for Teleperformance, one of the largest and highest ranked customer service companies in the world. When I got out of the Navy, I had a lot of skills um, and it, it was very difficult to find a job initially. But once I got past that hurdle and I was able to apply those skills that I learned in the military, I was able to surpass any of the goals that I had ever set for myself. I've always wanted to help my husband bring home the bacon, as you could say, and it's hard to keep jobs when they don't want to understand your situation with the military. Sparkle's husband, Wesley Moore, is a tank commander in the Army. Wesley is nine years into his goal of a 20-year military career. My first duty is to my husband and my children, so if he has to go, then I have to be home. At any point, he might deploy. But with teleperformance, I'm able to do both of them, have a career, and still be my, the mom and wife that I'm supposed to be. Teleperformance interacts with 40% of the world's population in a customer service capacity. They provide that support globally in 265 different languages and dialects. Teleperformance is a customer experience company is a better way to put it. Um, and we work with the top um, Fortune 500 companies around the world to provide customer service, technical support, back office um, support, chat, you name it, we support our clients in doing it. And in the U.S., teleperformance has been a military best place to work for the last three years. Integrity, respect, innovation, commitment, and professionalism. Teleperformance is a company based off our um, values. And I think that's why we align so well with the, the military community. We've worked so hard to ensure that we have the same values and that we live every day by our values. In the U.S. alone, we have 29,000 employees on a worldwide base of 223,000 employees, and we continue to grow every year. Along with actively recruiting veterans, Teleperformance created Project Work at Home, in which spouses of active service members can have a job that follows the family wherever they're stationed. We've developed a program to support the military spouses uh, through our Military Spouse Initiative, which has been extremely successful. Uh, we give them the opportunity to be able to come to work for us. We will train them to be one of our agents and they can actually work from home. We'll provide all the technology that they need to get set up in their homes. To be able to successfully support our customers, we have them assigned to a team and that team works together to support those individuals. So you're not alone just because you're working at home. You do feel like you're a part of the team. And as part of that team, vets can aspire to larger roles through the Warrior Leadership Development Program. It helps our, our military and veteran workforce transition into teleperformance in a very tangible way. Leaders for their global businesses can also receive training through Teleperformance University. It allows current employees to learn those critical skill sets for those higher level positions within the organization. The military is a breeding ground for leaders. That's the reason why so many organizations now are reaching out to the military members. You will find no one else that's as committed as a military member. I mean, that's the value that the military members have. 
Teleperformance, a company with job opportunities for transitioning veterans and spouses of those still serving and retired. It's a win-win. All right, you're transitioning out and you need a job. I'm here to tell you that there are employers out there who truly honor and respect your service and sacrifice for this country, and they're ready to train you and hire you for your next life and your new career. A call to service often springs from a strong family tradition. Uh, my father, my grandfathers, and my uncles were all military. Uh, my paternal grandfather was also a Marine. I knew since the sixth grade that I wanted to be a soldier. Uh, I joined the Navy right after high school. I have a family tradition of, of serving. So my dad was in the Marines and his dad was in the Army Airborne. Um, so I just wanted to continue that tradition. I joined the Coast Guard uh, back in February of 2006. Um, I decided to join uh, based on my family history. My grandfathers were both in the U.S. Army, so I, I really wanted to serve my country and uh, make my grandfathers proud. And new family traditions are born as veterans inspire their own children. My son ended up saying I want to be a Marine pilot, so he, he, he did. He, he chose Marine Corps and became a pilot and ended up flying Harriers, actually. Robert Wiedauer is a distinguished Marine Corps aviator. Bob now manages Combine's military programs. The experience of separating from the military is unique and personal to each veteran. Of course I wanted to go in and be a career soldier, um, but at the 12, 13 year mark, my family became more important. Um, you know, I had children to take care of. I, I had no room not to have a plan. Combined Insurance has consistently ranked as a top military friendly employer and has been ranked number one in 2019, demonstrating a company-wide commitment to providing meaningful employment to former military and their family members. Because of the great customer service that Combined Insurance provides, we're actually able to recruit a lot of our customers, as well as military veterans, uh, as well as spouses, people that are really great with other people and want to do the right thing because it's the right thing to do. When I got a call from the recruiter, uh, and they kind of, you know, went over, you know, the structure of Combined, the way that things work here, I was blown away. We want to attract and hire as many veterans as we possibly can, and to support them while they're here and stimulate their growth here in the company. The Chubb organization is the world's largest publicly traded property and casualty insurance company in the world. Being a part of that as Combined Insurance provides many more opportunities for advancement, learning different skills in, in there as well. For nearly 100 years, Combined Insurance has thrived based on the vision and inspiration of its founder, W. Clement Stone. The company is still guided today by his 17 success principles. Principle number one, always exhibit a positive mental attitude. At Combined, they call it PMA. 100% From the day you walk through these doors and, and come through sales school, you'll understand the ability that we have as a company to have that teamwork, to have that camaraderie, and that sense of belonging. Every Thursday, we actually give out pins like the lapel that I'm wearing uh, here to recognize all the veterans in our classes each and every week. We have a uh, veteran support group, which is a periodic gathering uh, electronically across the country of everyone, as well as a, a message board to where we can share ideas. We encourage anyone interested in an opportunity with Combined Insurance to contact them and visit their website, combinedinsurance.com slash veterans. What I would tell a veteran considering working at Combined Insurance is that this is a place for them. If they want structure still in their lives, leadership, teamwork, that this is one of the companies that embodies all of those things and that it just feels second nature to them to be a part of the team here at Combined Insurance. You're coming into an environment that that I think you'll really enjoy right off the bat um, and get a lot out of. And our whole goal there is to make you successful the following week. We not only accept veterans, we seek them. And we desire them to be here and we uh, celebrate them while they are here. 
During the transition, we often look for employment. Not only that, we look for meaningful employment. Understandable, due to your service. Doing that in the community where you live, it hits home and close to the heart, just like it did when we were serving abroad. And that's great work for a veteran. Again, thanks for watching Operation Career. I'm Marcus Luttrell. Hey, and take a chance on veterans, because I promise you, when you bring them in, you're giving them a life that will mean so much to them. And in return, they'll give their life to you.